curiosity. You know the warmest regions on Earth? Well, round about the equator, roughly speaking. No prizes for that. The coldest regions? Again, no surprises, the North and South Pole, the Arctic and the Antarctic regions. In fact, the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth was down here in the Antarctic, near Vostok, minus 88.3 degrees Celsius. Incredibly cold, really too cold to imagine. So here's an example of what it might be like. That's dry ice, carbon dioxide, the gas that you and I breathe out. In this form, it's used to pack ice creams in. But even that is only minus 78.5 degrees Celsius. And the temperature in the Antarctica got a good 10 degrees below that. Unbelievably cold. Well, that gets to another question. Why is it so much colder at the Antarctic than it is in the Arctic regions? Because it is. You never get temperatures like that up there. Well, you can't really see on this globe because the regions are covered by bits of metal. But if you look at a map, you can see quite clearly. The North Pole is sitting on a lot of snow and ice but that is hovering above an ocean, whereas the South Pole is hovering above a large bit of land, the Antarctic continent. And if you fly over that and look out from a plane window, you can see that underneath all that snow and ice is in some parts the ocean. Antarctica will extend as great ice shelves out over that ocean. But in other regions, you can see mountains pushing up through it, big crags of rock and bits of dirt. And that's true for all of Antarctica. There's a great amount of land and uh, land mass underneath it. And that really gives us the answer to the question. Because land chills more quickly than does water. And you can make an Arctic and an Antarctic region in your kitchen. Get two jars that are identical, and that's important, and almost fill one of them with dirt and gravel out of the garden. That's the land mass going in there. That's going to be the Antarctic region. Get it almost to the top. And once it's there, put a lot of water in there. Mix it well and get it not quite to the top. And that's going to be the Antarctic region, a land mass with a bit of water sitting on top. We'll fill the other one to the same level as the water like that. And that's going to be the Arctic region. There we are, we have a comparison. The Arctic, which is pure water, and the Antarctic, which is a land mass. Then put them on a bit of wood so that the freezing chamber of your fridge doesn't uh, conduct the heat away too fast, and put them side by side into the freezing chamber and check on them every hour. And how are they doing? Well, both freezing, and I think, although that's got ice in it, the Antarctic has got even more. Let's give them a couple more hours. Well, that's a total of about four hours, and let's see what we've got. And really, quite a good little experiment, because you can see the Arctic is half ice and half water. Here we are. And the Antarctic seems to have frozen solid. The land mass there and the water above it are really one solid frozen mass. So the Antarctic chills faster than the Arctic. Now, there are a lot of other things going on in real life. There are currents flowing under the North Pole that help keep it... Um, from freezing too, but it does help to explain why the Antarctic is so much colder than the Arctic. It also helps to explain why the coldest temperature outside the Antarctic is not at the North Pole, but in, again, a nearby landmass in Siberia, where once it reached minus 68 degrees Celsius.